Darby Allen versus Ethan Page in a coffin match. <laughs> so there's a coffin, and it's just carried out by some geeks. Now, I understand you can't do druids. That's taken, but these are just guys just carrying this box. That was kind of strange. It turns out Scorpio Sky is hiding in there. Who the fuck do you think really carries a coffin to a grave? Just a bunch of guys. I guess that's true. I've done it. So, yeah. Uh, Scorpio Sky is hiding in the box. He attacks Darby, which brings out Sting to beat him up for a while. And there's stuff going on in the ring and out of the ring. And the stuff is missed. There's just too much to focus on. But they go to break and they come back. It's just a one-on-one -on -one match now. And it, it's one of those matches where they only did really three super crazy things. And one of them was actually after the match. But it feels like they did a thousand crazy things. Because those crazy things were so crazy, and they made them matter so much. So they're doing this match, and it's a hardcore match, and there's stairs in the ring, and they're hitting each other with a turnbuckle. They, got, they deconnect the turnbuckle, they're hitting each other with that. There's stairs in the ring, as I mentioned, and e Ethan is laid across them. And Darby is going to do, apparently, a coffin drop onto Ethan on the stairs. But no, that's not crazy enough. Ethan gets up, he cuts Darby off. He does the big Ego's Edge avalanche style off the ropes, down, onto the stairs. Very unhealthy. Bro. Do I not recommend. I've never been to, like, the uh, Steel Step store. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you get them. I mean, there must be some place that makes them, right? Apparently. Well, WWE has Steel Steps. Every promotion has these Steel Steps. I've seen many flatback bumps on Steel Steps. I have never seen them bend. <laughs> and, uh... And Darby don't weigh that much. Darby's about a buck fifty, yeah. He bent the steps when he took that bump onto them. That was fucking brutal. So that was the first one. Coincidentally, earlier today, I saw a tweet from JBL where he's being power bombed on the steel steps by uh, uh, Batista, and it noted that yes, it hurt, but he was thankful that Batista took care of him and set him down the right way. JBL didn't bend the steps. He's no. two, Darby, two or three Darby Allens. And it's not like Paige put him down the wrong way. No. I mean, he put him down perfectly, but somehow this guy bent the steps. Because he was going a million miles an hour. And think about it. People go up and down those steps. So like, the steps have to be able to support some weight. Yes. It's not like you could have gimmick steps no. here. No. And, like, Britt Baker's going up the steps, and they break, and she goes through them like Otis on the ladder. I mean, you had to have some steps here. That was pretty... That was that was scary. So insane spot number two. Darby's dead now. He's been Ethan's edged, whatever, onto the steps. So Ethan's carrying him to throw him over into the coffin. But Darby is able to dig his fingernails deep into Ethan's eyes, which is what well, started this whole thing. But it's a callback to an earlier spot in this feud. And Ethan is selling his eyeballs bent over on the apron. Darby pulls a skateboard out of somewhere. He goes to the top rope, and he goes all Tony Hawk. He jumps up. And he lands on top of the skateboard on Ethan's back. That looked like it sucked. I don't even look at the skateboard. The bottom of it with wheels and everything, there's no flat surface there. There's no good way to take that at all. So that was crazy. It was the finish. Ethan rolls into the coffin. Darby slams the lid. He wins. But wait, there's more. I can only assume they want you, the viewer, to know this feud is done, 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 capital D, done. Because the coffin's just sitting there. It's on the ground. And Darby goes to the top rope, looks behind him. From the top rope, goes flying up and down, 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 down. Does he coffin drop to and through the coffin? In case you're wondering, there's no big cushy pad in between Darby and Ethan. He just squished him. Squish him, and only that, he got shards of wood. There was pointy slivers everywhere. Oh, my God. That was madness. Just madness. So these guys, if you watch the build, they did that interview with Jim Ross, and and they were talking about how they'd, you know, they'd feuded all over the place, and Darby was new, and he feuded with Ethan everywhere, and and uh, Darby said Ethan was jealous because he got here first, and Ethan says that's right, like uh, you're where you are because of me, and of course the reality is they did feud all over the place, and they had all sorts of great matches, and what you had here was two guys who could not wait to take their feud to the main event on national television. Yeah. And that's what they did here. And they pulled out all the stops. I mean, dude, that, the ego's edge, that, the, and the skateboard too. 
But that and the coffin drop were like, oh my lord, like you got to love wrestling. I think, and it's close. I think the coffin drop spot at the end was the scariest of all of them. It was. Ethan because can't see. They've done, yeah, they've done, uh, they've done the deal before with the Undertaker, where you you wheel Undertaker into the casket. The casket's right up against the ring. There's a false bottom. Undertaker rolls underneath the ring, and then oh, you open it up, and there's nobody in there. Or oh, you wheel the coffin up, and you light it on fire, and it goes up in flames because there's no Undertaker in the casket. He gets out. So you could you could you could think, well, maybe you know he puts Ethan in the casket. Ethan goes out the false bottom. There's a pad in there. And Darby does a big thing, and he goes through, and he lands on the pad, whatever. Everyone cheers. You never see Ethan. No. No, that's not what happened. No. He goes through the top. Ethan Page can't see him coming. I mean, maybe they poked a couple holes in there so he could maybe see. But, I mean, he pretty much just had to hold his breath, cover his face, and wait for this fucking dude to come off the top and smash through this thing. And, of course, when Wood gets smashed, there's all these sharp stalagmites. I'm I'm thinking more about this now because the way you would take anything as a pro wrestler, if a guy's coming off the top rope on you, is you put your arms down by your ribs and just flex your abs and your pecs and your arms that way. But when you do that, your face is exposed. So if Ethan had to cover his face, that means his body was completely, oh, my God. <laughs> Well, when you looked at it, it looked like Ethan was kind of over to one side. Okay. And Darby kind of landed a little over to the other side. So he didn't directly land right on top of him. But even that, it's like, okay, so if your plan is, well, you scoot all the way to your right. This is not a Kamala and coffin. All Kamala size coffin. Left, like, the margin of error yes. is zero. So anyway, a massively ballsy to do that spot. And they worked their asses off. And it was a great match. And they did well over a million viewers with, uh, you know, I love Ethan Page, but he's never been in a, in a dynamite main event before, I don't think. And uh, he went in there with Darby, and they kept the audience. They had a great match. Darby Allen's mega over. That's the story of the show. Look at how many guys they've got over. And well, women, obviously, because he's got Britt Baker. Yeah. These people are so over. And, of course, you could argue, well, it's the first, you know, touring show with fans. You know, maybe in five weeks the fans won't be so nutty. Maybe they won't. But I think they will because they're getting people over with old school, simple, professional wrestling booking. Uh huh. What a novel concept. I am excited for SmackDown tomorrow. SmackDown, sold out crowd. Money in the Bank, I think it's going to be sold out. I think there's about 10,000 people there both nights. Live living fans, not screens, not buttons. So I'm very excited for that one. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.